welcome back to Love, Lies, and Lace Friends, where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary on the YouTube channels you love to watch. Guys, are you subscribed to this channel? If you're not, you need to be. Hit your notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a video, when I go live, and drop another video for you. Also, follow me on Instagram. That way you can keep up with what I'm doing, okay? If you enjoy channels like this and commentary, consider becoming a member. Otherwise, guys, bougie gang gang, it's an open thing. Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel so you can participate in the chats. And I will see you next time I hit that live button. Okay, take care. Bye. Hey guys, how are you? being on my page, bitch, because I ain't got nothing for you nothing-ass bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm coming. I just, uh, you know, I'm still getting myself a little bit together because I'm coming straight from the carpool. Good morning, mamas. Good morning, mamas to be. Good morning, all you bougie badasses out here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing amazing. Let's see what the poll's doing so far. Um, Della, good morning. Ms. Brader's Life, good morning. Moving in Silence, good morning. It's members and mods on Mondays. We don't play that shit. We don't play that shit. If it's Mondays, it's members and it's mods and it's all of you wonderful folk who got your earbuds in on your way to work listening and enjoying in the bushes and giving your fingers a rest if your fring if your fingers are itching to to be up in this chat and state your peace um you can go to facebook you can go to twitch um the doors of the church are open at our satellite locations you know when you go to those big mega churches and they got the satellite location on the other side of town because the main the main Maine is full, okay? Um, members and mods, guys. Um, I want to thank our new member, Asia's Life, for real, Powell. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for coming through. Thank you for making it official this morning. Um, guys, our family is growing, and you know what I mean? We got cousins, we got aunties, we got kissing cousins, we got uh, cousins on my mom and them side, we got all the, we got everybody, right? Let's live like neighbors. We can argue like, I would just say sisters, but we got uh, Mr. Zolo Smart, Miss Donna Marie. We got couples in the mist, okay? Um, we got, so it's ladies and gentlemen up in here. And uh, so we gonna uh, live like neighbors. We're going to keep it family and um, we're gonna keep it cute like we're at work, okay? We're gonna keep it cordial and uh, we're gonna keep it cute, right? Cause, um, 
is bougie, right? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope everyone's having an awesome Monday. I'm giving you all a big virtual hug. And I just want to see what the um what the poll is doing at the moment. Good morning, Taylor. Uh guys, if you are not supporting someone in this chat who has a channel, get your life. Okay. This is social media. Let's support each other. Um, guys and members and mods in the bushes to the queens in the back, because that's where the queens are. The queens are um alongside the king. And they are protecting the field of play, okay? For those of you who really play chess, not just checkers, you know where the queen sits. She sits in the back and she's got the most mobility. The queen can do and jump how she wants, but she's positioned in the back. So I'm not going to give any uh, bottom of the barrel, basic hoe, any sort of acknowledgement. Because when people say the bitch is in the back, yeah, you might be talking to me. But at the end of the day, to the pawns in the front, <laughs> girl, look, this is all, this is all use your imagination, jockeying for position, internet, uh, scoring with our words talk. Okay. But at the end of the day, damn it. If you are a basic bitch and you're here, but you shouldn't be. If you are, are if you get mad, mad listening to me, go ahead and click off because this, this just might not be for you. Um, look, these are a couple of my favorites and they just roll off the tongue. Tatiana, I didn't come up with that. Um, remember on Real Housewives, I don't know if that's when it came up or not, but um, when, when Portia said she was from Thotland. Uh, okay. And Portia, we know, we know you're from Thotland. Okay. Because at the end of the day, girl, Keep your husbands and your men close. Let me tell you something because um, Portia will steal your man, okay? And that's that's been, we know, I mean, <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Um, Portia will steal your man and she is not playing, okay? Tatiana, okay? She's honest with that thought shit, okay? All right? Uh, gas stationiana, those are them hoes that hang out at the gas station. Some of them hoes that work at the gas station, people that are at the, when I go to the gas station, I can't even tell you when I never go inside the gas station. I always pay at the pump, always pay. I'm not, I am not a gas stationiana. These hoes that love to go to the gas station. I'm sorry if I'm speaking to you. I might not be just because you go to the gas station a lot doesn't mean you're a gas stationiana, but if you find yourself at the gas, if you got to run to the gas station to go get a drink, a Mountain Dew, a Red Bull all the time, you got to go get your cigarettes. You got to, um, you know, everybody, when you walk in the convenience store and they know your name, if you've ever, if you've ever met a boo at the gas girl, you might be a gas stationiana, uh, Sloriana. Yeah. We know who Sloriana is. The slores, the slut whores that are slores and they're slurry on and they're proud of it. Okay. They might even go to Amber Rose's slut walk. I don't know if Amber Rose still has the slut walk, but you are happy to be a hoe. You are a Sloriana. Okay. And we've got the hoe to a wife, Iana. I was going to say housewife, Iana, but we just going to say hoe. So that's the, that's the bridge plan of when you don't want to be a hoe anymore. Like when guys say, I don't want to be a player anymore. I'm tired of giving up my box to random men. I'm tired of sleeping around in the open. I'm just going to do it and I'm going to be sneaky with it. Like with the maintenance men and like with uh, sexting in the middle of the night with nobody that even looks even better than what you got, who actually pays bills, who wifed you up. Let me tell you something, women, if you are so delusional that you think that a guy who would wife you up and you are nothing but a piece of shit and he's a piece of shit, well, maybe you'll be pieces of shit together. But if you think that some guy is going to hold you in high esteem, who is texting you about coming in your box and you have a whole husband at home that you sleep with every single night, you think that he's going to put you in some esteem? Girl, bye. 
girl, he's just trying to get what he wants and he's going to marry um old boring down the street with the big butt. Okay? That's who he's going to he's going to marry. Look, let me tell you something. If you are easy, trust and believe. You are just helping homeboy get through the period of time with the girl that he really likes who doesn't give up the box like that. The one who says, no, you can't spend the night or, you know, makes him actually step up to the plate. The way you make that schlump -a dump step up to the plate that you really don't love, that's that's how um, that's how you should be treating uh, Mr. I like to give up my box to, okay? Because let, let the truth be told, we've had a lot of Zadianas, guys. Don't forget about the Zaddies. We've had these Zadianas out here on the streets. Girl, they've been telling us the real, real, okay? If you want to get a glimpse at the playbook on how to mistreat the man that wifes you up, the man that gave you babies that all have the same name and all look alike, not just like you, they look like you and him, comes home, brings his paycheck, all those things, uh, all the things that, you know, people say they want, but can't calm that box down long enough to keep, girl, my God, okay, anyway, oh, let me put my glasses on. Did I bring, you know, guys, I put my glasses on, I walk out of here and I go straight to my bedroom and I leave every pair of glasses in my bedroom. Let, let me go get my glasses. Oh, so I guess there's the whole to wifeyana, then there's wifey. Girl, there are so many. Which what are we doing today? Let's see. Let's, let's see what's up. Okay. Um I don't know if my lipstick looks crazy or not. Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Uh yes, we're live with Love Lies and Lace Fronts. It's a sweatshirt, baby. Good morning, guys. Reporting live from the carpool line. Guys, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have 50 likes. Guys, don't be mad. You can be in with the in crowd. All you got to do is hit that $1.99. Come on. If you're up at this hour, you should be working. And if you're working, you got $1.99. You got 10, girl. Let's do this damn thing. Okay. Good morning. Glowing. Yes. A thought she has three kids by the same man. Um, at that, she has three kids by girl, yes. But you can still be a thought. I mean, even though you got allegedly <laughs> three kids by the same man, I would tell uh Mr. Chris Savage. Whatever his name is, I doubt that that's his real name, but Quanisha Savage. I'm a savage. Wretched, bougie, not classy. Acting stupid. Yes, absolutely. Um, Y'all. Della, moving in silence. Ms. Brader's life. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, guys. Um, this is not, this is a sticker. I just put it on my Yeti. I do have a tumbler. I am me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good morning. Um, some of you have reached out to me about your memberships. You're like, I'm not a member anymore. What happened? Just know creators cannot give people the boot. Even though I tried once upon a time, I tried. All you can do is really block somebody. This is what I've been looking for. My God. Okay. Um, 
you can block people, but it doesn't stop any shows. They can still come to restricted. They can still come to um, member areas and things like that. I can't give at this time. You cannot give people the boot for membership. If someone opts in to be a member, it's up to them on them. Um, things like that. So I had some people ask, I had one or two people ask me about that this weekend and, um, we're not able to take people's memberships away. Um, you can just kind of make it like not worth it for them if you wanted to. Um, and if you want to know about something like that, I could, I'm not going to talk about it because it's not really relevant to all of you guys. And I don't make a practice of doing that. If you want to pay your money to be a member here, um, go right on ahead. Um, I just always ask in the discord guys, keep it cute. You know what I'm saying? Because every day people can join and, um, in the discord, we talk the topics that we talk on this channel. If it gets to be something else, you guys have the ability to make your own little private chats, you guys, and no one should feel away. If people want to get together in private chat, that's their business and we're grown and the function is there so we can keep it cute because I may want to talk to someone offline about something that isn't for everyone else's business period or ears or share. Right. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Um, keep it cute. Just keep it cute. Um, keep it. If this gets screenshot, I'm not going to have to pick my face up and feel away. Okay. Because at the end of the day, we know that this is the messy mom sector and, um, and fill in the blank. Okay. Um, but for the most part, uh, I think everyone keeps it pretty cute and we don't have any problems ever since I had that problem back in April where I did have to kind of ice out some members and they just opted to do what they needed to do. But understand, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care when people express their opinion about me, whether you like me, not like me, just keep it cute. Like if you wouldn't like to see what you're saying about me, about you, and you're supposed to kind of be like, cool. Um, understand that I'm human too. And I'm not above and beyond being like, okay, bitch, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real, um, I'm, I'm just like you, right. Um, we found each other. We see each other. We saw, we found it. So there was a time there were a couple of people who were saying some shit about me, calling me damn, um, baps. Okay. I'll own that. I don't care. Look, if I'm not, if I'm not church enough for you, if I'm not professional enough for you, I'm, I'm all of that for me. And, um, it is what it is, but you know, understand, I don't have to fucking deal with you. So when I ice those people out, like I put them in the tank, they couldn't chat anymore. I made it not worth their while, whatever they, if, even if you were paying fucking 99 cents, I don't need your damn 99 cents. So you, you know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of stuff that that's what I did. Um, to let people know, like, I know, like you're up to some fuck shit and you can keep your little change. Cause I don't need it. Um, but anyway, um, that's that on that. Why'd that come up? I have no idea. It's just, it just came out. Um, favorite YouTube streets name. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know if everyone has voted. We have 208 in the mist. We only have 70 likes. Um, okay. Um, Tatiana is still number 46, uh, 46%. That's number one. Number two is Sloriana, uh, 27%. Gastaciana, uh, 18%. And Ho to a wifeyana. Okay. Wifeyana is something like a Jasmine. Okay. She, when they went to Mamiana weekend, she was like, what's the problem? I only slept with one guy. I was like, bitch, you were there for 36 hours. You were there for 36 hours. Um, word on the street was that you were popping plan B's like Tic Tacs and you got a guy living at your house and wearing lingerie and tons of empty bottles of wine and alcohol in your kitchen later, bitch, you about to have a baby. Okay. It's just been over a year. You guys literally moved in like 14 months ago and boo boo about to have a baby. Okay. Um, She's on the whole to wifey on a plan because he's not going to wife you up, but you're going you gonna to be sitting there giving wife benefits, doing wifely duties. Homeboy is going to be still acting like a piss poor boyfriend 
And that's that's what it is. That's what you opted in for. Have fun with that. Girl, welcome to your life, okay? Still not a wife, all right? Um, yes, like this live, please like this live. Good morning to everyone. Um, bushes, bitches, lawn chair, welfare recipients. Look, at the end of the day, I am not against welfare. I be, you know, I definitely want monies to go to people who need it. There are areas in this country where there's no work. There are not decent jobs. Um, there are just not enough resources available. You might be a mommy who is in a situation where your man is a zaddy. Okay. Your man is a zaddyana like Chris. Okay. You might have a man who, um, is a shiftless Negro and, uh, wants to go take care of someone else's kids. Cause it's fun. And then you're not here doing what you're supposed to be doing at this house where you made your original, your OG babies. Okay. And, um, and you need some help, you know, maybe homie, uh, distracted you from finishing your classes in school. You dropped out of college, or maybe you've got college, but you just never had a job, you know, you, for whatever reason, you never used your hair license. You never finished beauty school, whatever the case might be. Um, some people need some help and that is okay. But when you are trying to live your YouTube dreams, getting a check, bitch, you wrong. Okay. Especially when you call yourself some sort of editor, screenwriter, copywriter, you got registered businesses with your slorish ass mother figure, um, who loves to put on a camera and take a shower uh, on camera and think that people want to see her bad body, bad face having ass. Okay. Nobody wants to see that. And also show off a mold infested trash box whorehouse called a, I don't know, mobile home, whatever. Damn y'all out of order over there. Okay. Um, let me tell you one of the one of the most worst things I think as a woman um, of a certain age, and I would imagine when you have to drive into the driveway of, I wonder if my old room is available. Okay, you know when I went back home after I left Houston and decided to go back home to New Jersey because I was thinking I was going to live in New Jersey, and. Um, I didn't have any kids though. And I went to go live at my parents' house. I feel like my light is blowing me out a little bit. Okay. Hold on. Is that better? Okay. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Um, bam. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I was like 24 like sleeping on a twin size bed in my old bedroom. <laughs> Talking on my princess phone. Okay. Um, luckily I got a job and that job moved me to North Carolina where I did not know that my life was waiting for me. Guys, sometimes you got to look at the, um, and you know, jump, jump on the train for the, uh, for the journey. Okay. Cause you don't know what's ahead of you, but little did I know that my destiny was not in, in my hometown. Unfortunately, I, I miss it cause I love my hometown, but, um, it was waiting for me down here. And, um, I went to work. I, I stayed in that room for almost a year and I took an opportunity to move down here and move out of my parents' house, realize that where I grew up, I wasn't making that kind of money. And um, my little, my younger sister said this to me once. She said, you know, be living in New York really makes you kind of make quick decisions about dating because when you are splitting between two places, it makes you more serious about how you're going to cohabitate with people because who's going to pay for two apartments. And if you, if you're paying 2000 here and there, like you could have a bad place for $4,000, um, and pull those monies together. Right. So it makes you make decisions if you're going to 
deal with someone a certain type of way and not be in your place and all of those things. And, um, you know, these, this, my main thing is this, Quanisha, when you were pulling that car and driving up that gravel dirt driveway back up to the trailer to go to Jackie's house that you're now doing selfies in the mirror. Are you going to pretend that you're not, we know what your house looks like, bitch. We know you don't have a job. You can't get an apartment. You don't have credit. You're lazy as fuck. According to your husband, girl, where is my phone? Guys, I, I, any of you who follow my vlogs, I did switch bags, but this is not a permanent switch. Uh, I'm just using this right now. Uh, where's my phone? Oh, because I'll be repping gang gang. Okay. Um, yay. All right. I was reading the saga that is, um, what is it? What's his name? Craig. Craig loves Quanisha. The Craig and Quanisha show. Y'all. And it's not a show because it's a show. It's a show because these two are showing out like for real. Um, homie says, hold on a second. I'm sorry. Uh, this is going to be. This is, guys, we are segueing into ghetto love. Okay. Hold on. Look at this dinner. Hold on a second. I was the only one to cook in the household. Still only me. Quinn stays at home, can't clean or nothing. This is going to get blown out. I don't know what's going on with my lights today, why it's blowing everything Bam. out. Bam! Bam! Quanisha has been giving her husband the business. I, I don't know if all of this is posted, but I feel like I've got something. I mean, this is like a lot. Uh, homie says that she would be home. She wasn't cleaning. She wasn't watching the kids. The kids were riding all over. She's like a rental property owner nightmare. She's the type of hoe you don't want to rent to. Good residents of uh, armpit of Florida. Um, but, you know, Jackie, girl, these two, they're so, they're so gross. And, um, look, let me tell you something at the end of the day, somebody, um, I got a comment. It's in the comments. I'll, I'm gonna pull up some comments in a minute too, guys. Um, someone said, do you think that this is a skit for, for views? Uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, are they above seeing an opportunity? Absolutely not. Are they split up? I, number one, who really cares? I'm, I'm not invested in it. I'm here to make coin. It's a bag for me, guys. These chicks are fucking bags. Okay. Um, I don't invest enough in not liking someone like that. There's a couple people who I can say, yeah, I just don't like. Uh, but as far as losing sleep, losing an ounce of boo time and cuddle time in my bed, fretting over a bitch I will never meet. And if I happen to see on site, um, there is a crazy uh, trash box whore in my vicinity who doesn't really belong here. And um, girl, I live in a neighborhood, one way in, one way out cul-de-sacs period. We don't have winding. This connects to that, to that. You turn down a street, girl, you got to do a whole U-turn. Okay. Everything is a cul-de-sac in this neighborhood on per, right? And it's one way in and it's one way out. Okay. Uh, when you come through girl, you will stick out like a sore fucking thumb and I, you know, period. Okay. It's bougie over here. Right. So, uh, on site, on site, trespassing in a neighborhood that is private, that is neighborhood 
HOA owned and and um in the village of don't do that here um at the end of the day um Quanisha look you have gotten caught out there being trifling at the end of the day. Do we think you really care, bitch? You're not, you're not highfalutin, high sadity. Maybe like when he was talking about how she's out here portraying highfalutin, she talks all high on herself. Craig, if you happen to watch this, we know she's full of shit. I mean, I'm sorry. We don't take her rags to riches, tall tales seriously. We see how y'all were living. We see that you guys are caught life over there. You guys are living on cots, broke down beds, um, donated furniture, uh, damn mold feeling homes. Y'all go from pillar to post at the look, the, the bitch is like, we're not, we're okay over here. She wasn't fooling anybody and to the people that she's fooling. Um, they don't come over here. So I don't know anything about them anyway. Um, yeah, we really don't care. It's just, it's a bag. It's funny. And if these people have been making so many bags off of me, I enjoy making a bag off of them from time to time. So I love talking about this. If you're going to put your shit out in the street, I'm going to talk about it. But the funny thing is, like I told you guys last week, because they're so predictable, these hating ass slow slores, um, they get together like roaches. Okay. So the roach in Indiana. Okay. And I mean, of bug quality, this is not a, uh, colorist type of endeavor. At the end of the day, these nasty, the bug that you don't want in your house. Okay. Um, flies on shit. This is Jerry Springer shit, right? Um, this is gas stationa. Okay meets a uh, ho to housewife iana okay this is some old fraudulent ass disgusting cheating lying whorish fake news non tea sipping steal your tea from lsa ho shit okay these chicks have been regurgitating lsa lies for years okay and Crybaby thought that that was a good idea. So that's how they kind of, I think, got together. And I do believe that last week, um, one to the other got together and decided that they were going to put a narrative out there about my my family and that there being a new addition to this family. And girl, bye. We're not that good of actors over here. And at the end of the day, you guys believe what you want. Whether I've got a outside baby uh, stepdaughter or not, guess what that still is? My business, right? Um, but I don't. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about it because why should I give fuel to some fake shit, right? Um, then yesterday... Uh, Quanisha decided to put me in a picture with her disgusting ass husband. Let me tell you something. When you got what I got at home, a man who loves and adores you. See, this tells me you don't have shit at the house. Um, you, you're not operating in love. You don't have someone who turns you on. You don't have someone that makes you happy. My husband takes care of me. Okay. And I'm not saying this to brag, Number one, I'm giving encouragement to all of you dolls out there who are waiting on your right guy to come through. Look, if you're looking for a specific job title, let that go. If you're looking for a specific body type, let that go. Yes, there's basic hygiene and you should be attracted to your man. But at the end of the day, you need to be open and you need to be operating as a woman who loves herself. So a man who is going to love on you will show up and he might like look like nothing that you thought about. But at the end of the day, what you think you need that has not worked and what you really need may be two different things, or you never know. Look at God. He might bless you with exactly what you want that acts like exactly what you never thought could happen that you knew that you deserved but because you were operating whorish sluttish deceptive 
secretive, all of those things that are not good qualities. And you finally decided, let me just be free and let me just make myself open to being vulnerable. Someone showed up in honesty and love and knocked your fucking socks off. Okay. And that's what happened to me. Okay. I wasn't doing all of those things, but girl, a bitch was enjoying her twenties. Okay. And, um, I met somebody who didn't want to be a player anymore. Okay. And, and then we decided to hold hands real tight together and do this damn thing. All right. And, um, period. Okay. So, um, number one, it's encouragement. And number two on these YouTube streets. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to pop my shit a little bit because it feels damn good to come home or be at home when someone comes home that absolutely loves you. And at the end of the day, um, unfortunately negative ass can't find even their way out of a paper bag hose, um, love to try to come and like distract diminish, discredit, uh, people who got their shit going on. And I am twice this woman's age, Kwanisha and girl, you should know, uh, respect your elders and bitch, get your weight up before you come for someone like me, because I, yeah, I've, I've seen and done everything. Okay. And no, I don't have three kids. No, I've never gotten a welfare check. And no, I've never had to um, go file for uh, child support or anything like that uh, because I respect my marriage. I respect my husband. I respect my daughter's father. I respect this household. I have respect. But maybe if you can get some respect for yourself, you would have probably tried to hold on to your husband. Now, they are literally shitting all over the YouTube streets with all of their business. And I will have a video up later depicting everything that I've seen and, and give you my full comments and remarks on the shit show. That is the Quanisha and Craig Savage show. Um, yes, 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 absolutely. Welfare queen Quani. Oh, love Noel said Quani bands. Uh, how about Quani has no bands, Quani, no bands. Uh, cause the bitch don't have money according to her husband. She, he's the one who works. She does not clean. Um, but she is over there trying to distribute that box out. Like she works at damn Amazon bitch, get you a job at fucking Amazon. All right. Or why don't you go do sassy house cleaning with your slurish ass stepmother, mother figure. Why don't you guys go do tricks and clean? Why don't you, um, go and do Molly made, um, so siege cleanup. Why don't you go give sexy massages over at the, uh, the slur house somewhere in that armpit where you guys live? Why don't you turn that tin can house into, um, clout chasers LLC? Oh, you've already done that. Yes. The home office, the head office. Yes, 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 yes. You two are, how much do you want to bet these two are going to be live on camera, not on stream yard anymore? These two missed each other. This is, this is guys, this is a story about two clowns, two slores that missed each other so much because they love YouTube when it was the Quinn and Jackie show. Guys, if you go back far enough um, on Quanisha's channel that she scrubbed clean, um, but I might have some screenshots of that because guys, this has been going on for years. These two bitches came from and to celebrate the anniversary, I'm going to put up my empty house tour that they came for. Um, any of you guys, if you go guys go back at least two years in my vlogs, you'll see the old house. Um, my old house was very cute. At the end of the day, we moved out and the new people were going straight into renovations. And they told us, and basically because we did a quick close, the reason we did a quick close was because we had a bidding war on our house that was five minutes away from downtown. And we got over our asking. This is all documented, guys. I always say this, Google me, Google me, because all my shit is verifiable. And um, you won't find me with no drunk driving uh, walk of shame photos on the internet. You're not going to find... Girl, and I'm talking about me. I'm the person that shows up here every single day, girl. And let me tell you something. You can say whatever you want about my husband, but at the end of the day, let me tell you something. My husband is on his same job. My husband still has his same clearances. My husband still 
does state work, okay? And at the end of the day, when is a black man not getting arrested in this United States, okay? And when people steal your identity, and any of you who are members, girl, go ahead and enjoy those videos. I've got videos posted, me and my husband answering questions um, days after uh, he was arrested and um, on some identity theft shit because someone stole his identity and was running around. And um, and that's that on that. And I'm not going to go into detail about it because it's all in the playlist, guys. Your girl is an open book. Google me, okay? At the end of the day, it is what it is. Your girl's bitchy. Your girl's snarky. Your girl likes to pop her shit, talk her shit. And um, none of that is a crime, okay? And that's my opinion. And that is this commentary, okay? Um, and opinions are opinions are opinions. Um, I don't make up false news. And I think that's that's what's put these two as liars, these two sets of channels, um, the Crybaby Show and the Clout Chaser Show, um, in trouble because these guys have gone to dip at LSA for far too long. There are people who are planting false news and giving them bad information. So they come out here looking stupid. Now, the Clout Chasers at least will say that they went to LSA. Crybaby was trying to pretend like she was getting her tea from elsewhere, but we know that, you know, Crybaby is not above and beyond dumpster diving. So if she's going to steal out your trash can, you don't think that she's going to go over to LSA and go find shit. And they, and look, whomever it was who decided to make an example out of the tea stealing whore, um, it is what it is. It is what it is, and they're going to do what they're going to do. But don't think that when you're going to make bags off of other people that they're not going to come back and make additional bags off of you. And that's just it, period. You got to be ready that if you are here on the YouTube streets and you're talking shit about people, understand that someone might just decide to say, you know what, enough is enough, and uh, here I come. So better watch out. Here I come. You can't stop. I'm going to find you. Okay, period. Shouts out to Lauren Hill this morning, Jersey in the house. Guys, look, um, these people are giving what we want. You guys like messy, messy. So head on over to Quinn's. Let's hear Jackie squirm her way out of this one. But if you want to have a good time, guys, and you want to get a little bit of backstory, you want to see some interesting lives, go to my Quinn and Jackie, the Clout Chasers LLC playlist. Um, how did this all start? I would say ask them. I don't know. They came out the they came out the woodwork on me and I think a lot of people were afraid to react on them because nobody wanted to be the butt of what they were talking about because they came out with such outlandish lies. I think they scared a lot of people. And I don't mean scared like they were scared, but scared as in like I don't want any of that smoke. And um I was just like, whatever, like, you know what I mean? Like people talking about my marriage doesn't bother me because I say this, I think at least a couple times a week, when you got something other people want, yeah, they're coming for it. When you're living a certain type of way and they want it, they want to discredit it. They were like, bitch, you could say whatever you want about what's going on over here. None of it. You don't know anything. Only people who know what's going on in this household are the people that live here. Okay. So whatever anyone wants to say, um, I don't care about them girls. Okay. And they really shouldn't care about me because what guys reaction videos are about you. They are not for you. Um, that's why I don't go over to their channels. Um, so they can say whatever they want. It doesn't matter to me. And I'm not going to stop reporting on a slourish ass mom who just got called out for cheating. I mean, that's, that's our bread and bag butter over here. We love hearing about a cheating ass wifey Anna. Okay. And, um, I'm still, trying to validate some information, but I will have some additional tea on this topic later on today. And those of you who want to support that channel, you go right on ahead um, and do what you got to do. It's it's fine. I, I don't tell people what to do and where to go. I got one daughter. Okay. Period. We have one child up in this house. Okay. Let's do some comments. Let's do some comments real quick and see what, what's going on here, guys. Um, if you are in the bushes and you have not voted yet, go ahead and vote. Tell us, tell us what your thoughts are. Okay. Thoughts on thoughts. Can you let us know? Is it 
Let's see what it is right now. I'm trying to refresh my screen. Is it Tatiana? 48%. Sloriana? 27%. Gas Stationana? That hoe at the gas station. That hoe that got to go to the gas station all the time. Um, that hoe that um, met her last man at the gas station. If you are too, doing too much at the gas stations, along with buying your Newport uh, 1000s and smoking two packs of cigarettes, girl, you might be a gas stationana. If you are giving head in your car behind the gas station, bitch, you wrong, okay? Uh, Indigenous Jones, how are you? How are you? How are you? Good morning, everyone. It's Members and Mods Monday. If you didn't know, now you know every Monday is Members and Mods, okay? And every first Sunday is Private Members Only Live, okay? So if you want to be in with that on this Sunday, um, where we just talk about, is that this Sunday? No, it's not this Sunday. Um, This Sunday, I think, is Halloween. So it's going to be next week, right? Um, let's see. Let me check my calendars, ladies. Um, guys, that code for Adidas that I put on my community page, go create your profile with the link that I gave you and then go back and use the code save. Now it's good till tomorrow. If you spend a hundred dollars, you get $30 off. So it's basically like a 30% discount. Um, so any of the Adidas wear that I wear, you guys like that stuff. Go for it guys. Um, save 30 bucks. Uh, let's see, 2021. Um, so members only live will be on November 7th. You guys remember if you, um, if you did not see members only live and you are a new member, go ahead, go enjoy. We, um, I had just turned on live last Sunday, not last Sunday, the last, uh, members only morning live. And that was when the whole Chelsea thing had just come out and I was in the live And if you want to know if I was one of the ones that participated in like, take me to the cross or whatever, we did express some condolences and concern. I just knowing the YouTube streets, um, I need verification, validation, um, authentication. I asked for the good Lord to send her, uh, his hands of grace and mercy, no matter what the situation was. But I wasn't buying everything lock, stock, and barrel just because I know how these hoes lies out here, how these hoes lie. Um, So, um, but it was an interesting show nonetheless. We talked about a lot of different things. So if you want some lives that you have never seen that are have just been for members, go ahead, guys. Use your member benefits. Use your member perks. And uh, there is levels to some of the things that are available, but um, all very affordable. Okay. Uh, So jump right on in and enjoy your member perks. And um, I tell you what, people love that damn uh, video with me and my husband. And I have one that I think I'm going to drop in there too. Um, I might let it premiere and then after it premieres, it will go to members only um, because it's over there on my other channel and I'm going to bring it over here um, because it was a and a and it was fun and it was almost like three years ago. It may have been three, possibly four years ago when we first started the channel, uh, Francoise Vlogs, and it was on our anniversary and we answered lots of questions and um, and it was interesting. Anyway, um, let's get some comments up. Did my comments load? Let's go with, um, let's do video specific. I would love to see what you guys said about the video that I posted last night. So let's go to, are there a lot of comments? So there's 24 on this one. We'll, we'll go. Let me make this big so you guys can see this. Okay. Let's talk some comments. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did, and I got plenty of rest. And um
Let's see. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, look at KP in that hair, girl. Love it. Okay. Replay gang. Um, let's see. Let me use my. All right. Catching the replay. Ponda replay. Chic P. Um, this is why they talk about other people to keep the spotlight off of them. They do so much, but they forget that what's done in the dark comes to the light. Okay. Let me make this. Stop it, StreamYard. No, you did not. Hold on a second. I love. Yes, StreamYard, finally. Okay. Thank you for dropping that down. Yes, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm happy about that. Um, 80s baby life, lots of hearts, watching the replay and laughing. Good morning. Uh, good morning, looking, oh, looking at the replay. Good morning, Camilla. Flo making it make sense. She loves, she loves the drive-through. So yesterday I posted kind of like a recap of it was kind of a three moms update guys um so uh yes olivia girl let me tell you something as mommies we hit drive throughs and that's on period right we hit drive throughs and that is true but girl you are doing too much filming if you don't want us talking about your habits of that damn uh drive through bitch you need to stop uh, I know we can't pull you back from the drive-thru, but honey, let me tell you something. You better start driving to the park or something like that because, girl, you looking real sus at that drive-thru. I purposely drove through the drive-thru yesterday just to basically kind of low-key be shady. Um, great content. Thank you, Replay Gang. The picture you showed of her holding up her PJs, look, her lips look like they have been done, and you can't do that when you're pregnant. Um, yes, because Botox is a toxin, right? I agree. Most doctors won't do it while you're pregnant. This is crazy that she got it done while she was pregnant. Who's going to know she's pregnant. They already know that she's over 300 pounds unless she is disclosing she's pregnant and a cosmetic dermatologist or whoever she's going to, she might be going to some bitch who got Botox shots in her kitchen and works at the med spa clinic and thinks that she's a doctor now all of a sudden, or an esthetician who's licensed. I don't know. But at the end of the day, look, everyone doesn't always follow the rules. All right. Um, she doesn't even talk about her kids. Uh, she talks at them. She hasn't taken them anywhere since she's been back in Florida. I actually, now it's possible she could have taken them somewhere and she's just not filming it, but uh, we know Olivia is lazy. She does not film everything. I believe Gerard and his queen are doing something behind the scenes because Nisi won't comment and Gerard isn't saying anything either. Moving in silence. Absolutely. Um, I can't stand her. If you want to see these comments in total, guys, go ahead, head on over. Liv is the abuser and Zolo helped us see that even though her body language changed when Gerard said she was hitting him, that's the day I stopped following Octopussy shouts out to all of my James Bond heads. Okay. Um, thanks for the update. I'm catching up on the YouTube streets. Sin says I called parental. It's called parental alienation. Yes, absolutely. And that can get you to lose your kids. What she is doing is wrong and it's, it's abuse. It is abuse. And um, it could get her to lose custody. Absolutely. Scorpion Queen, what do you say? Instead of Liv Subby's telling her she's beautiful every five minutes and agreeing with everything she says, no matter how dumb, they need to tell her to let Gerard speak to his children and stop being so bitter and hateful. Absolutely. Okay. Adrian's life. Been busy in my books, but always catching the replays and supporting. You guys are amazing. Look how beautiful Adrian's life is. She's a pretty lady. Okay. All of Bougie Gang, you guys are all you the fucking best. Okay. Period. All right. Let me let me switch setups really quick and let's look at another video. 
Um, let's let's look at another video's comments and um, hold on. Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Guys, if you guys are like into what I'm like my office, not that you're into my office, but into what I do in my office and how I have my office configured, I am, I'm, I'm going to get this all. This is okay. Right here. Um, I did get a new guys. You guys got to hold me to it. Um, video and tech tools. I just got a new camera. I'm going to talk to you about my three camera purchases this year. A Canon M50, which I guess I did get that at the end of last year. Canon M50. Was that the end of last year? Hmm. I don't think I had it at the end of last year because it took a minute for me to get it. Um, I just got the Sony. This is the Sony ZV-1. It's getting blown out by the light. Um, it just came out in white and your girl had to have it. And, um, so I was vlogging with this yesterday. Um, there is a video that I will, and I'll specify at the bottom what I filmed it with. Cause for some of you guys who want to know, um, and you know what I think is a great camera purchase. So, um, let's go to another video real quick and we'll look at some of these comments. This one had a fair amount. Well, not as much comments as I would have thought, but that was a live. So uh, let's look at this one. Guys, and let me tell you something. Look, none of us have to be perfect. And I want to be kind of be clear on that. Um, but when your man sees you, when your walk and your talk are not matching up, girl, let me tell you something. Once they're sick of you, all the shit's going to come out. It's going to come out like a bad case of diarrhea, okay? Period. Let me make this big. Okay. Uh, yes, friend, come through. Karma never skips the doorstep. Quinn, we are all laughing at you. Catching the replay. Tanisha Rosina, YouTube streets are a little dirty there. Thank you, uh, Mr. Quinn K's life. Absolutely. Sharon says, but wait, I'm confused. If these guys call themselves exposing these women, ain't they low-key exposing themselves as well? Quinn husband lived on the same trailer as her, so it ain't it ain't getting nasty like that overnight. Um, and I, to your point, Sharon, great point. Um, but he's look, this it's not fair and it's not 2020 and it's not modern woman. But at the end of the day, if you know that you are men get very traditional and I've told you this, um, not you specifically, but all of you uh, men get very traditional when they get married. And this guy's going out every day, probably working hard or not, whatever he does, he's making the paycheck and your job is to be the homemaker. You get to stay at home. Well, bitch, your job is to clean, have dinner ready, and at least protect the house. Because if you don't own the home, not saying you should trash it, but if you don't own the home and our deposit and our credit is going to be determined by how we leave this place, bitch, I need for you to take care of it when I'm not here. You know, the kids don't need to be writing on the damn walls, right? Um, but yes, to your point, yes, it didn't get dirty alone and the man should help. But depending on how hard this guy has to work, if he has to do 12 hour shifts and he's not making a lot of money, um, girl, do your part. I don't know. Perhaps he didn't realize that. So yeah, good point. Good point. Um, the apple never falls far from the tree. Great parenting, Jackie May. Um, I was through with the, cl with the cloud chasers when they first were dissing B BLM during the Floyd. Yeah, I, it'd be before that. Uh, Craig said, Jackie is her blood mom. That's what I've heard too from a family member, <laughs> um, on one of the captions of the pics he posted. Absolutely. So, um, Philip junior, 
yes stead mom period and uh happy saturday the trailer park is on not that she got herself into a pickle she got herself into a pickle jumping on a pickle okay wow quanisha she's way worse than the three moms after they spend a whole 30 bucks on that wedding she acts like this absolutely now i almost feel like is it oh quaya's diary not a whole 30 dollars um, girl, it's like Little Caesars and Andre Champagne. Old Englishify, yes, okay. Maybe, just maybe, they are doing all of this for views and subs. Great point, my BBY66. Um, look, if they weren't doing it for it, they are now because, of course, people are going to have interest. People want to know the channel. People want to know what I'm talking about. Guys, understand this is social media. If you turn your back on this, you turn your back on it. Um, but if there's a hot story in your cluster, in your pod, in the community, these bitches have made so many bags and videos on me. I'm not going to miss an opportunity to talk about this. Are they my content? S you know, look, Slourish Moms, <laughs> check com comments um, and commentary on that. Um, mommy's doing their damn thing on YouTube. Yes. Mommy's not doing their damn things. Mommy's exposed by zaddies. Absolutely. Everything that has to do with mom life is my content on here. And that's what I'm talking about. And if a bitch makes a bag off me, understand I might come make a bag off you. Okay. Social media guys. Remember trash sells on YouTube. Look at live. Absolutely. So I agree. 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 Is this a skit? I don't think so. I think it could could it turn into a skit? Absolutely. You know, when they decided to put out a video with me bending over and them trying to do some, you know, trash box artwork on it. At the end of the day, nobody cares about that shit. I mean, I'm here five States away and it doesn't matter. Like you look, you guys have disrespected me so much. It is what it is. Um, I would be careful though, but look, whatever at the end of the day, who cares this look, when a slut gets caught being a slut, are we surprised? No, but we love to see the train wreck. We love to see the car accident. We love to see the shit piled out in front of the house. Um, we love seeing Kwanisha do the walk of shame, going back to her mama's house and taking selfies and, and home where she's comfortable. She's uncomfortable being, look, I said this yesterday, I think, or the day before, you cannot not be real in a marriage. It's, it's, impossible. It's going to come out eventually. If you're a slore, you're a slore, you're a slore. And um, she has been aired out to dry by her husband. We don't know if everything is true. This is what he's alleging. This is what he's putting out. She's copping to it. She's saying, once you go black, you never go back. I'm happy now. I left the house. So whatever, whatever. But if her and Jackie are alive today at the house and that bitch is filming again and she's back at her home, She's not at the trailer with Mr. Craig Savage. Uh, uh, Deuce and Demarcus's mom, girl, what's up? Uh, Jessica Michelle, our beautiful, our beautiful teacher. Uh, yikes, this is a mess and so hilarious. Karma, bougie gang gang. They are so strange. Yes. Uh, this shit is funny. And my, my, what difference a day makes. We are living from second to second. Wow. We are living in the end of times. Aisha, apparently I missed a lot today. Look on YouTube streets, miss a little, miss a lot. Okay. Um, that might end up being a shirt. Ooh, miss a little, miss a lot. Yes. Catching the replay. What in the ghetto government cheese is this juice B or juicy B girl? I am Ty Cherie. Hey, boo. The Eric's. Hey, boo. Sammy Dizzle. Who chow? Here for it. Princess. Yes. Gogeta is like, damn. Liz World. Girl. Carrie Ming. What's his channel name? Craig. I'm a savage. Okay. Craig Savage. Tiffy baby is pretty with all of the flowers. Thank you. Speak Fran, Miss SWV, another baddie. Wonderful Grace. Happy Saturday, sis. Oh me. Oh my baby. Not a good look. Okay. Camilla. Hello, Fran. Pretty brown eyes. Ain't that something? Laughing LML. I can't stand that channel. Lies, bad hair, and bad makeup. Okay. Period. Um, Riza, girl. 
Okay, guys, we are going to be doing more comments. I used to do address in the comments at least once a week. There's stuff I just need to get back to doing that I know you guys like to do, and we will be doing it, guys. And let's thank StreamYard, guys. I was getting ready to go to another provider because I really wanted um, a different type of setup on my cam. And I am so happy that y'all have come through with the lower box because the old bot, like this setup, much better. Because when we want to make it big, yeah, it gives us a little visibility down here. StreamYard, excellent. And today when I close this live out, I'm going to give that feedback. Y'all did that. Thank you. Um, if you want to go live, if you have a channel and uh, you are planning on trying to go live, um, hit my link in the description box. Not this one just yet. It will be in there. Hit my link. I have a referral code. This being social media, if you heard about it here, go ahead and um, let StreamYard know that I am sending you their way and um, I am helping them with this social media thing and um, giving out those referrals that are oh so important for all of us to be able to make our bags, sis. Okay. Um, that's how we do it. You know, if I don't recommend it to you, you won't know and you won't have the link, right? Guys, check my community board often for updates, for pictures, for recommendations, for coupons um, on all of my channels, uh, Francois Vlogs, this channel, and on Real Talk Bougie, guys. Um, I think that's it. I don't know what else we need to talk about. I have not been looking at the chat, so don't kill me. Um, when I come back, so any of you who are like, Fran, you're ignoring me. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, when I'm trying to read this stuff, sometimes I miss your comments. Um, so I will come back. Cheryl was what's good, boo boo members and mods guys look to the left, look to the right. Um, we are family up in here and we got the cousins and the nieces and the uncles and the aunties, um, who are all watching. Um, Guys, you can be a member too. It's not that hard. Just hit that member link and come on through. I am going to be sending a link out for the Discord. Govern yourselves accordingly, guys, and keep it cute. That's all I ask. Whatever we talk about here, free game in the Discord. If it needs to get personal, if you got like, girl, I can't stand so-and-so, I'm a need for you to talk to who you want to in a private chat, okay? It's there for a reason, okay? It's not just to be furtherly messy, but we don't want the main room. You know what I'm saying? Go to the kitchen table. Okay. Um, I'm not being messy by doing that, but we're being realistic. It's a private, it's a private uh discord for people of the bougie gang to be able to socialize. And if you choose to socialize one-on-one -on -one and, and chitty chat about what you want to chitty chat about, that's your business. I'm not there to be anyone's mommy, but I'm there to create a fun environment for you to socialize with your bougie gang, with bougie gang, period. That could be all of you, $1.99. It's a paid, it's a paid for play. So if you want to play up in there, go ahead and get that credit card out and, and make it happen. But yeah, it's, it's a safe place now for you to pop your shit, but I need for everyone to pop their shit respectfully. Um, because understand I am the one and only mod. Um, we do have a couple of other mods when we do, um, like a voice chat or something. I, I, have other mods that can help me out, but I'm the, I am the mod in the discord and I don't delete lots of stuff. Um, but if I see something that could definitely almost start a forest fire, fuck that shit. And I'm just going to err on the side that maybe this person did not know, but understand, um, keep it cute because I'm not going to play referee out here on these YouTube streets. That's not my job. I'm not going to be involved. If you want to start a forest fire, um, understand that's, that's your business. Okay. Won't be mine. All right. And who is she talking? Girl, she's just talking. She's just talking. She's being big sis. Okay. Not mama. Okay. Period. So, um, right. I love you guys. I love you. As grownups, we have to have these difficult conversations and we have to say, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you for sharing your time. Oh, gracias por com compartir 
su tiempo y pensamientos, that means your thoughts and opinions, taking your time and sharing your thoughts con Fran. Yes, por favor, toque la campana, okay? Merci, y Joseph, all of my uh, Haitian bougie gang, 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 gang up in this thing. Miss Fifi, boo boo, yay, yay. I need to find you in the chat. I will find you in the chat. Cutie Squad, um, Dr. Amira, um, Pineapples, Rose of Sharon, all the ladies, KP. Guys, there's a lot of us in here who have channels. If you, Tarot Card Bay, I didn't see you, boo boo. Tarot Card Bay, um, her favorite holiday is Halloween. Tarot Card Bay, I hope that you will come to Bougie Gang this weekend. Guys, if you have not checked your horse, not your horoscope, if you have not checked your monthly reading, if you have not checked the energy reading, if you have not checked Tarot Card Bay, okay, girl, she she's bringing Megan the Stallion to the YouTube streets. She is gorgeous. She is funny. She is knowledgeable. She is Bay, okay, period. All right, check out her channel. That is my little baby sis. I love her. She is so knowledgeable. When you hear those old, shriveled up, nasty Tata having uh, Jackie from the YouTube trailer park section, girl, and she's talking about chakras and all of that, go hear some of the real from our bay over there at Tarot Card Bay. Could you please, would you please um, go check out Sis? If you do not know her channel, I'm a need for you to handle that. And I'm going to talk to her and see if she will come grace us with some of that knowledge and that power so that we can understand what the hell's going on. We just had a new moon. Um, I think Mercury was in retrograde maybe last week. And we need to understand what is going on out here. Why? What in the fuck shit is really happening? And um, and she can sort all that out for us and tell us what we need to know and go and check your sign reading, the collective energy. And I, she may have done a love reading. Go and check her out. Put her on notifications. And if you want to book a private session, I'm not sure if it's still continuing, but there was code Bougie Gang for a $22 private reading. Okay. Also coming soon to a Zoom near you, bitch, come get this branding, this optimization, managing your channel, navigator, coaching class, done by me, okay? Um, if you need YouTube basics, I got a sis for you that is going to be handling that. Let me make some business calls today, and we're going to be announcing all of that. Um, it may have already been announced, so I need to get up on my information, um, regarding those YouTube basics. But as far as what I'm doing, I would love to get something popping this week. And, um, if you are interested in that, please hit me in my email, hit me in my Instagram. Some of you have asked about private classes, but if you want to be part of the group, uh, class and kind of what's going to be happening this week, I would love for you to join me. Okay. If you hit my link tree, you will see the group class, um, sign up is posted and it is $75 and you can pay it's, it's operated by square. So you can use all legal tenders and, and that's that on that guys, I'm going to let y'all Girl, because a bitch got to get to work. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I've been getting better at not uh, taking my stuff out of the studio, but apparently I have not mastered that yet. Um, look at these. Aren't these cute? <laughs> Y'all have an amazing day. Um, let's see. Let's do... Bye, Jackie. Bye, Quinn. Bye, Quanisha. I love calling her Quanisha. Who is that? Someone giving me a hot uh, on Facebook. How are you? Okay, Twitch, Facebook, we're out. And you guys have an awesome day. And I will see you guys. I will see you guys later on these YouTube streets, okay? By the way, friend, I respect you as a... As a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a... 
You better, as bitch. Her boyfriend. Yes. I respect you as you a respect who? As a reactor. All okay. About clout. <laughs> it's all about clout, guys. It's all about that clout. Love Lies and Lace Fronts. Well, lovelieslacefronts.com.